All right, we are back and uh, running out of time. Unfortunate, but um, had to deal with most important issues. Now, as you know, uh, last week we touched on uh, briefly on the, not briefly, quite uh, extensively, but Kukubako missed his opportunity to speak to that issue about the number one, number 12 uh, investigative film. Uh, how unfortunate, what time has done to us again today. <laughs> uh, but briefly, there have been a couple of, you know, matters that have come up. Uh, I'll allow Kweku the space and time uh, okay. we have left to uh, share his views on it. Uh, you know, Mr. Christian Antichi's wife came out to speak and had a number of things to say, including a suggestion that people, you know, point <coughs> their finger to the Tiger Eye team as wanting to take a bribe of um, 150,000 United States dollars. They say it was brought, um, they demanded it. His husband, her, her husband could, could only afford $100,000. And so they were unable to kill the, the filming. Oh, I feel so sad for that beautiful lady. I don't know who asked her to go on such a program. But let's put that aside. Um, when it comes to women, I'm very soft and sentimental, especially <laughs> beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, elsewhere, you could get into trouble. Uh -huh. See, thank you. <laughs> but you see, I called Paul Adumotri when I heard this thing and read some few things, saw some bits on social media, mm. whether he asked the lady who they paid the money to. Okay. And also whether he asked who brought the money back. Apparently, those questions were not asked. He told me that oh, he said Tiger High had denied ever receiving monies or getting involved in that. But I thought pointed questions. Who did you pay the money to? Since you have decided to go public, who did you pay the money to? And who returned the money? Those are critical missing links. But let me put on record that at no point in time did a NAS or Tiger Eye or both get involved in any manner of getting money from anybody in order to kill that project. If you recall, on this program, I dropped a hint of a lawyer that I said had attempted if you recall. Yes, yes. This lawyer At is the known. very start. He's, he's known. But I contacted the lawyer. I said, look here, I am told that you've gone taking money on the basis that you can abort this thing. He said, look, it's not true. Go and tell those people peddling that thing that they are mad. Once he denied, there was no way I could put his name in public domain. Mm. But those who did the payment, if indeed they did payment, they will know who received the money. That's right. So it is incumbent on them, particularly when you've decided to go public, to drop the name. But they are not doing it. And they put it out there as an innuendo, targeted at Tiger Eye and Anas. That's unfair. Kwesi Nyantechi had an opportunity with the police in the course of investigations. Did he tell the police? that at any stage he was a victim of blackmail, because this is blackmail. It's destroying your career, destroyed you, your integrity, your everything is down there. FIFA, based on a petition by Tiger Eye, has banned you for life. They added something I thought they shouldn't have, but mm. I've not understood, I've been educated on those things. Right. Like, fine. And you are still sitting on radio and TV, your wife I mean, and spreading circulating in windows why don't you nail the guys the guys who have brought you down you are prepared to protect them i don't get it it's mm -hmm. illogical okay so just clearly anas arimeya anas at no point in time got anybody to go and negotiate any deal with kwesi nyantichi in order to kill that thing. look you can't put monetary value on what FIFA, the petition to FIFA and the FIFA's outcome. There is no monetary value on it. 
a journalist of analysis nature is up there because his work mm. has attracted such international recognition. It's priceless mm. forever and ever, not money. Interesting. Well, so the onus is actually on those who are making the allegation, as Koku says, they paid. to, <coughs> they say to they name paid. who it is that uh, took the money from them and uh, uh, allegedly brought the money back to them because they could not afford 150 but they could only afford $100,000. Uh, uh, um, Koku says he understands the matter of the fine because now the education is that by the rules, it does appear the man is entitled to a lot of money within the FIFA circles and that, that may be sufficient to pay off the fine. But even if that is not sufficient to pay off the fine, it is rather the GFA that okay. will be slapped with but that really? responsibility. Yeah, that's what that we understand. Could yeah, it could be enforced by... I thought they would deduct not it in, from... Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so I was that's that's I was all we understand. Exactly how, <laughs> okay, so Clive, okay. briefly, uh, you know, she spoke about an aspect that I don't know if you agree with her, that the prosecution publicly in the media should stop because herself, her children, her children can't go to school anymore and all of that. I mean, what's, what can be done? So as, as a mother, I can understand, I can empathize with her. I can imagine that it's not very easy for anybody to, to, to have their family, because this is her husband, this is her family. Mm. So for, in the, I can understand her as a mother, and I can understand her pain, including the possible explanations she would have to give to her children. But then again, we have to come back. That is what parents have to remember, and that their actions should be guided by that. I think parents always have to keep in mind that your best legacy for your children is a good name. Okay. So parents should also be careful their own actions, because you should, you should think about the fact that if A, B, C, D happens, what is that going to be for my children? So parents will first of all have to take responsibility to make sure that that doesn't happen. Yes, yeah, so even though I understand her, uh, that really it's, you still have to, you have that bit, it's human, but I don't think that is necessarily, uh, if the, the, the media will discuss issues, issues that come up, and issues that are of public interest. Okay. I hope this just goes out to all parents to remember that the greatest legacy you owe your, you owe your child mm. is a good name. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry about the two of you guys, but uh, my guests have been Abdul Malik Kubako, <laughs> editor in chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper, Clara Berry Kasati, lawyer and teacher of the law at Gimpa. There are many who are saying that we should ensure that Clara becomes a permanent feature of this <laughs> show. Uh, you say sure. Uh, ask me if I will approve that. <laughs> <laughs> Felix Kwachi Ofosu uh, is former Deputy Communications Minister. Alexander Kwamina Afinyo Marking is MP Efutu, Member Public Account and Defense and Interior Committees of Parliament. I'm Samson Ladia Yenini. My outfit, as always, is by Latida. Have a good afternoon. So when is the book?